And when you're cool, you own something like this. Brian, drip me up. Welcome home, Rat Pack. It's your boy Marcus here, and welcome to Comfort Cartoons, a channel where I collect absolutely everything from the late 90s, 2000s, and I'm also trying to create the world's biggest SpongeBob and Nickelodeon collection. And we also have the number one credit card max router, I guess, just overspender at our disposal. Three surgeries, Parker. I paid for to save that dog's life. And this is how she repays you. But goddamn, she helps me out in every aspect of life. Have you seen the intros? I have. It was worth the money. But I hope you guys are having an amazing day. And if you guys aren't, you know the drill. Um, Marshall's. Marshall, Marshall Mathers flip. It's about to get a whole lot brighter because your boy is here. <laughs> it's about to get a whole lot longer. Well, at least eight miles of it. That's the only person named Marshall that I knew. Remember the one from like Brady Bunch? That was Marshall. Marshall, Marshall, Marshall. You know Marshall? Not a real one, but more like a fictitious one, yeah. You've never met a Marshall? I've never met a Marshall. If you've met a Marshall, let us know in the comments. I don't think anybody really has. But anyway, that's Herschel. <laughs> I was in a guy from Walking Dead, but that's Herschel. It's the old guy, my old man. He lost his leg, then his eye, did he lose his eye? Then his life. <laughs> then his life, you just, how much can you lose? God damn, shoals have a hard life. But anyway guys, we're gonna be heading to Marshalls today. But the reason we're going there is because if you guys haven't already checked out the channel, I do these buyouts all the time in other stores, but I have not gone to Marshalls. Like I've never even been into a Marshalls that I can think of. Actually, I have been into a Marshalls when I was like eight or nine years old. I remember I used to get inside of the clothing rack. You know the ones that are circular? Yeah. I would like open them up and I would get inside of them <laughs> and I just wait for bystanders to look for an extra large shirt and they go, ha ha! <laughs> She's just like, uh, did you see an extra large around here? <laughs> <laughs> here you go. <laughs> I used to love hiding inside those little, I don't know why I was weird, but I felt like security cameras that no one knew was there. <laughs> you wouldn't believe the things I saw inside those things. Oh yeah, what'd you see? A lot of those really small colored like size things. Oh, okay. Yeah, those things, are, I used to steal those and put in my pocket and take them home. <laughs> Someone's gonna have a wrong size outfit. Yeah, I really did steal them straight off and I would like collect them. I was such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> but we're gonna be heading there. I'm gonna try and get a couple of those no, today. No, 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 you're not. I got some big pockets today. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna be heading over there to get some awesome Nickelodeon stuff, early 2000s stuff, late 90s stuff, whatever fits the vibe. Hopefully something we could add to the collection there. Let's get in the car and head over to Marshall's. Hopefully it's not the same area that Marshall Mathers lived in, like, you know, on that album cover. That, that doesn't look that nice. All right, <laughs> I was trying to see if the camera was focused, but anyway, we're heading over to Marshall's right now. I'm extremely excited to head over. Let's go ahead and do a car crack ship check. This is the car ship. I mentioned in a previous video, I don't know if it's not moving at all or if it's gotten slightly longer. I cannot tell. Maybe in the video, you guys will better be able to tell. We're just gonna keep checking in. <laughs> Next video, be like down here, like, you guys think it's grown at all? <laughs> anyway, let's head to Marshall's. All right, guys, go into Marshall's. Let's see what we can find today. I'll add something to the collection. That would be dope. Okay, guys, we got a bunch of freaking awesome mugs. We got this goofy one, which literally breaks down the entire animation of them, which is cool. But we're gonna get this one because we're looking for Nick's stuff today. The Avatar one, which is sweet. Okay, guys, we're definitely gonna get this one. It's good to be bad with Corella DeVille right here. We're gonna pick this up. It's got the Dalmatian pattern. I love it. You don't see anything else? Yeah, at least we got this. I'm not even gonna lie. Why do I like these so much? Dude, that's my NFT. <laughs> <laughs> Amused cats. All right, we found another awesome jacket. We were trying to decide between these two, and this almost sold me the cool Tommy on the back. But we're gonna go ahead and get this one because we've never seen an all Rugrats one. Let's grab it. Okay, guys, so we looked through all the toy section. I mean, come on, that's pretty good. We got LeBron with, I almost want to get that. I don't even know why. How much? Under 15, under 20? Let's see. Oh, damn. I was going to say under 20, I would get it, but no. <laughs> but we got Bane and Batman, which is so freaking sweet. Talk about 72 inch biceps. Jesus, <laughs> man. His arm is more muscle in it than your entire body. Probably. He can curl your max deadlift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got a bunch of stuff right here. I mean, we got the freaking crew from Madagascar. If only I had filmed that. <laughs> Next, we got the crew from Madagascar and, you know, Alex and, you know, 
tree. <laughs> the other guys, yeah. <laughs> no, but what we got, guys, we got the Mickey Mouse Club right here. But I think I'm gonna leave this because we actually got some other stuff that was Disney related at the other two stores. I think I'm gonna leave that. Guys, we found this, which is a PlayStation alarm clock that is so freaking sick. I love how I'm starting like a huge PlayStation collection. Yeah, I don't know where, like, you've been an Xbox guy your entire life. I don't even have a PS5, man. Well, nobody does. It doesn't exist. Nope. <laughs> and then next, we got the Super Mario Bros. clock. And yeah, I'm a freaking old school gamer. I was always rocking Luigi back in the day with my sister. So I have to get freaking Super Mario's clock. I love how you, you have things that just reference time. <laughs> yeah, both these things are because I need to get with the times. Okay, guys, so we are back from Marshall's. Felt like we got a lot of stuff there, but now that I'm looking at it, we got more at Ross and also at PJ Maxx. If you haven't seen those videos, make sure you guys go check those out and subscribe. But this right here is Marshall's, and I gotta say the quality of this was really, really nice. Even though we didn't find as much of their stores, the quality of the store was really, really nice. Nicer than I expected, and also the items were too. So let's check it out. Talk about a mean mug. <laughs> I have quite the mug collection, as you guys have seen. We got Corella DeVille right there with the Dalmatian cup. I absolutely love it. Super nice, like I said, for soup or anything, really. This was like my first item that we grabbed there that I didn't know if we were gonna find a lot of stuff. I don't regret this at all because you guys know I love Disney villains in particular. And I also like, like obviously some of the shows that were on like in the early 2000s, but I love the 101 Dalmatian so much as a kid. It was one of my favorite movies. I've always loved dogs. It's always been a big part of my life. I've always had a dog. So it doesn't get any cuter than Pongo and Perdita. But we got the cup right there. So you know what Deville stands for? Devillain. <laughs> <laughs> Just the word devil, Deville. Oh. Yeah. Feeling little devil. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was short for something, that's why I put Deville. Hey, that's actually a car, too. Is it? Yeah. The huh. de de Deville. Wow. <laughs> but right here, we found this one. This is actually what made me go to Marshall's because Parker had gone there previously and he said that he saw some Avatar mugs. He did not want to get this one because he doesn't like chibis because he's so much cooler and manlier than the rest of us. He's hey, so it's not tougher. for me, man. <laughs> why can't I just make a normal damn mug? <laughs> True, though. There was a chibi one. No, they did have they did have a regular one. They did have a regular one. So you coughing? I don't drink coffee. You drink something else. Water? <laughs> yeah, put some water in that mug. <laughs> So right here we got Aang, we got Sokka, we got Appa, we got Katara, <laughs> and we got Momo and Toph. There we go. Sweet. And then what do these symbols want? I'm assuming those are, you know, fire, water, air, earth. I can't read it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay, well, I don't read Japanese, but I know what the headband's Naruto mean. Well, the, what does arrow mean? Forward? Oh, I don't read. <laughs> All right. Well, actually, the arrow means you get that tattoo when you've mastered the air elements. The arrow elements. <laughs> Oh man, I gotta watch this show so this makes sense. So right there we have those two mugs, awesome. I think it's like what we learned from going to these stores versus like Walmart, Target, or for example, like even like thrift store, everything has its own thing. Like thrift stores, you can find really rare, unique, odd items. They're not gonna be brand new all the time. I feel like with this, it's like you get a good balance. You definitely did find some old stuff in there, but if you're looking for mugs and clothes, like the discount stores are by far the best. Like I can't even argue that those are the best. We found so many mugs, so many shirts, like a lot of great stuff when it comes to that kind of stuff. Going for the double swoosh. Let's do it. Ah! I'd take it. You made it. I'm making it. And by some point, I'll get through. <laughs> we'll all get through. <laughs> I'll make it. Okay, let's save the drip for later. I know you're over here like, yeah, I saw you drooling. Let's go ahead and get to the time-related things. We have a lot of time-related stuff in here. So we got the PlayStation 4 alarm clock. Right now, this is kind of like, why have this? <laughs> yeah. But like, in the future, think about right now, if I could get a Wiimote alarm clock, copped. 50 bucks, 60 bucks. I'm putting that on my side of my bed. You got me a Wii remote alarm clock, you know, or a freaking Nintendo 64 controller, or let's not even go that far back. I mean, like regular Xbox 360. A 360 or a DS, even a DS alarm clock. I mean, that's not even that old. So I'm saying, like, just five, 10 years from now, this is gonna be like a really, really cool, like retro ish or vintage ish controller as an alarm clock. So I think it's really awesome. And also, I grew up on PlayStation. I'm not a PlayStation guy now. I, I from 16. So 25, I was all Xbox. And then the Switch came out. Switch is like the greatest console to ever be created. I love it. But right here, we got the PlayStation alarm clock. Highly Absolutely debatable. Sick. Highly debatable. You love the Switch. I like the Switch. You got two, bro. I got, I have one. What are you doing? Hopefully I die. 
I have friends with switches. One hour later. All right, so now that debate's over. I told Parker I wasn't getting up. He told me that the Switch is the best console. Thank you. But next up, we have the Super Mario Bros. A lot, or just Super Mario. <laughs> it's not Super Mario, but clearly the bros are on. You know, they've been on a hiatus from each other. <laughs> you know, ever since Mario kissed Princess Peach while Luigi was coming up behind him, you know, it's been a problem. But <laughs> we got the alarm clock right here. This thing is freaking sweet. It is plastic. I, to be honest, when I was in the store, I was given the impression that it was like an aluminum. Well, nobody gave me that. Yeah, impression. I was gonna say, like, who walked up and gave you that impression? Oh, that's a real nice clock. Must be like aluminum or something. <laughs> you didn't see that worker who was like, oh, you yeah, look at these aluminum clocks, bro. I gave myself the impression <laughs> that it was gonna be like an aluminum clock or something, but now that I'm seeing it, it is kind of like a plasticky clock. I'm not even gonna take this one out because I don't know if I'm gonna actually keep this one in the collection or not. But there we go. We got the Super Mario Bros. alarm clock a analog display. Did you know I found out that people that are like younger than like 25 only like 80% of them know how to read an analog clock. That's sad. Who cares? Like you have a digital clock, like you have your phone. Well, yeah, but I don't know, it's just like, why wouldn't you take the two seconds <laughs> to learn that skill? Like why wouldn't you do that? Don't do that, that's a waste of time. Actually not, it's like you can learn it in like less than five minutes. <laughs> it's a digital clock everywhere. You guys let me know in the comments down below. As a survivalist, yes, you should know every form of time, you know, but realistically, it's like no one division, man. You gotta calculate in your pocket. Do you know how to read that? Super Mario. Oh, I know how to tell time, man. Because me and the clock were very familiar all through school. I mean, like, seriously, but if you go to school now, it's not digital. When do you know when this dumbass class is over? You know? I don't know. Do they have digital clocks now? They don't even go to school. They just have digital clocks inside of their computer, man. Oh, that's right. You don't need it. School this. doesn't exist anymore. Let me get the hammer. Let me break that. <laughs> Alright, yeah, school doesn't exist. And it also doesn't exist when you're cool. And when you're cool, you own something like this. Ryan, drip me up. That was pretty sick, don't even lie. That, that could have been smoother. <laughs> Let's see you do it, super smoother. Okay, this one, that was sick. Look at this, restriction, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so we got the freaking top on, dude. This thing is sweet, got the hood on. I don't really like the hood that much. These kind of give you like a perpetrator vibe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't see what I'm saying, but you can see I'm looking at you. <laughs> he saw my problem. But these perpetrator lenses, I don't really like. But put the hood down. I would say I like it like that. That's probably how I would wear this. Why is it this is just as colorful as the other ones you open? But this one's more tame. Well, it's a lot more tame. It's because of the light blue kind of dullish background. Yeah, I think because it's like the other ones, you're like, oh, what am I looking at here? We got so many different types of characters. Like this one is just very clear. Rugrats, okay? He's got a Rugrats jacket on. Is everything special in the back? Like any got of the a ginormous reptile licking his lip. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> In the hood? Is there any like cat or anything? No. It's got uh it's got the dog. Okay, so <laughs> what are we going with? We're going zipper down? Or are we going zip to the tip. It's that pose. It's, it's that, that pose. pose. You put it in that pose. It I think. Matter it, if I'm I think what it is. It's like. Sack. I think what it is is that we're so used to hoodies nowadays. Like there was a trend back when zippers were was it. You know what I mean? Like hoodies wasn't it. Yeah. But now hoodies are it. And I think that you have it zipped up. It reminds me of a hoodie because the color kind of blends in. You know. Yeah. It feels. I will say it's hot. It's like I'm wearing a ziplock. <laughs> it's very hot. But it's definitely sick. And we're. Oh, and I love how you can, when you zip it down too. It kind of keeps a little bit like shown. So we don't have to even wear a shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a shirt on, look. But I gotta say, man, this is awesome to add to the collection. Freaking sweet. If we go to more of these type of stores, you guys want to see it, we're definitely gonna try and pick up the other variations of this and see if I can make like a complete collection of all these members only jackets. But anyway, guys, you know the drill. You see that? Yeah, <laughs> but, I thought that you pulled out a gun. <laughs> hand on shaft. You know the drill. Okay. guys, that is actually it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you're new here, and make sure you guys check out the brand new Comfort Cartoons Instagram on the screen if you guys haven't already. But also check out this video on your screen right here, which is a video that I recommend for you because it's an awesome Nickelodeon video. We added some awesome stuff to the collection, so I know you're gonna love it. Got 90 stuff, 2000 stuff, all the stuff we love. I'll see you guys over there. And as always, Rep Pack, I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Adios. Bloop.